Want to learn about building codes for the size of emergency escape and rescue openings? Well, here are some clips from my on-demand course, IRC Chapter 3, Means of Egress, available only at buildingcodecollege.com. Okay, the first subsection on dimensions is about minimum size. The, the clear area of the opening cannot be less than 5.7 square feet, although there is an exception for grade floor openings. I wonder what that means. Well, we don't have to wonder very long. There's a definition. It means that the bottom of the opening is not more than 44 inches above or below grade. So if the bottom of the actual opening is 44 inches or less above the finished grade, or if it's 44 inches or less below the adjacent grade down in a basement window well, then the area of the window opening can be reduced to no less than five square feet. And this is because a ladder won't be required to rescue somebody. Clearly with a ladder, you would need a little more area. But whether it's five or 5.7 square feet of area, it doesn't mean a human can still get through. We've got minimum dimensions within this area. In addition to the minimum area, the opening can't be less than 20 inches wide or 24 inches tall. But it's important to realize that to meet the minimum area, you won't be able to be at both these minimum dimensions. You either have to be taller or wider. So you have this opening, but can you get up to it? This section covers that. The bottom of the window opening can't be greater than 44 inches high, and this is measured above the finished floor to the actual opening. Now, I've been asked before if, hey, can I build a step in front of this window that's too high? Will that work? And that's a big no for me. But in code administration, I like to give options if possible. Just in the way that this hardwood floor raised the finished floor level, I've always given folks the option to raise the floor level of the entire room. That's going to be a lot harder to get rid of after inspection, and long-lasting code compliance is more likely. Now, there's one additional condition when no egress windows are required, and narrow ones like these are fine. It's when you have an exterior door. Section 310, super easy, and it just says that a door can indeed do this job, even for a basement. But it's got to either be side-hinged or a sliding door and it has to meet all the other requirements that a window has to meet. Well, I hope those clips were helpful to you. For the full on-demand course, go to buildingcodecollege.com and click the link to the course catalog. Scroll down the list of courses until you find IRC Chapter 3, Means of Egress. You can watch the first course video by simply clicking the thumbnail image. But for four months of 24-7 access to the full three-hour ICC-approved course, it's only $45 and a few clicks away. But you can get 10% off any enrollment at buildingcodecollege.com using the coupon code YouTube.